But it's always great to catch up with my mate, Anth Nekic from Warbirds, sitting, looking very relaxed in Melbourne when he's got so much coming up in the next few months. Anth, how are you? Good, brother. How are you? I'm very, very well. Thank you. It's great to see you. You have, um, you've been pretty active uh, lately with um, the new single that's just come out, Bring Back Your Love, which was released recently with a great video as well. Before we talk about the main thing we're going to chat about, um, give us a little bit of an infill about the, the song and the video. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, man, that song was written probably about four or five years ago now. Um Pre-COVID, obviously, I, I, you know more about the album as well, but um, uh, that was in the can pretty much at the end of 2019. We kind of rushed that through for the Rock Pit 10th anniversary show and obviously we had big things happening in 2020 and the, the, obviously the inevitable happened. But, um, yeah, um, Bring Back Your Love was a jam in the studio. Um, I had a bit of a, a, a riff happening. It was like one of those things that was naturally written, which I love doing in, in a band format where someone has – Spur of the moment, like a bit of a riff, and I go, oh, I'll play that again, and I'll do this, and leave a jam on something. So it kind of grew from that. So what I, what I would then do, if we'll have a jam for 10, 15, 20 minutes on and off, and then I'll record a little snippet on my phone, make sure I don't forget it, um, and, you know, I might scat some lyrics, scat some words or melodies as we're playing. And so it's one of those naturally uh, uh, created songs, and it's my, kind of one of my favourite ways, you know. Uh, sometimes we'll write a tune where I'll have a good riff that I'll come up with and then it'll evolve from there at home and it'll build, build on from there. And a lot of times I might take a riff into the studio and see if, if it goes somewhere naturally where we all kind of connect. And so it's, Yeah, like that. So it's a good kind of traditional classic rock style um, hard rock song um, with a bit of light and shade and some nice sections. It's in a nice package. doesn't go for too long. Um, and it's just about... I mean, it's not a personal experience, so to say, but it's about uh, an ex-partner that was good in the sack but a pain in the ass everywhere else. <laughs> that sums it up. And a lot of people can relate to that, so I'm sure. Yeah, I think we've all been there before, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, it's a, it's a fantastic video goes with it. Um, you've always been well-known for great videos. I mean, My Symphony had you had the last, the, the cartoon-style lyric video, recent, uh, the previous single. Yeah. Um, take my hand. Yeah. This one with the motorbike is just just superb. And that happened. What was funny is um, that was the idea. We'll do a lyric video. Obviously, um, you know, the, the the there was a bit of a shift with the members within the band get preparing for this UK tour. And um, Danny had an idea what it would do because it's got a really cool groove. That that, that whole song's a, a, a good bass drum groove and then picks up. So it's always cruising kind of thing. And um, he had one of his friends that does those cafe races and, you know, the little videos. And um, just by chance, having that conversation a week later, I bumped into a, um, a dude that's on my tennis team, <laughs> this young guy named Anthony Rossi. And he says he does video editing and things like that. And I said, man, I've got a job for you. And next week, he, he that was his first edit and locked it in. It was awesome. We love it. It's, it's so good. It's good to watch and listen to and read as well, yeah. It's brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. And, of course, um, the main thing we have to talk about is uh, leading up until November where you finally get to leave uh, Australian shores to head to the UK. And I know we've spoken about this um, many a time over the phone, how excited you are. Um, finally getting over to play Hard Rock Hell. There's a massive lineup of bands, Taiketo, Jizzy Pearls there, Pretty Boy Floyd, Jeff Tate. And of course, sitting on that bill is Warbirds. How the heck yeah. did that come? Right about? next to Malmsteen. Right next to Malmsteen and Jeff Tate, Warbirds. Perfect. What a <laughs> lineup. How, how did that yeah. come about? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so Dave Warner, who I'm pretty certain you met from Headstone, um, he's looking after us as a distribution deal with the Warbirds. And obviously, as as good mates, Dave's a dear friend and he's always been there in my corner. We rehearsed. <clears throat> at his little studio, which is a kind of doubles as a demo studio, pre pre production studio, um, before he opened Headstone and started Headstone, he's always in, in, in my corner. You know, when you have hit a wall or something, he's always man, don't worry about it, get back on there. And and um, so he already had taken a band to play a different festival the year before, and obviously got some connections happening. And um, he was hit up by the promoter from Hard Rock Health, and um, he said, "Man, we're looking for a hard rock." you know, melodic style hard rock band, what do you got? And I think he might have sent him my symphony um, video clip and reality check or something like that. And uh, and obviously this is UK hours 
And I think he got a phone call within minutes of sending that email saying, man, we've got to get these guys on. So it's awesome. And I actually keep forgetting that Jeff Tate's on the bill. He's – Queen's like a massive influence for me um, over the years. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting, man. It's exciting um, on many different levels. It's daunting, uh, uh, you know, to, to a certain degree as well, you know, having a young family and things like that and kind of packing up. For, it's only for a couple of weeks, so, but um, the band deserves it. And um, knock on wood, we have a good, healthy tour. We're all good and healthy and we can play to our full potential. There's only three of us, man. So um, I think I think we'll, we'll have a good time, have a good crack. I'm sure you will because I know through getting to know you and becoming great friends how much this means to you and, and the opportunity. So I just know that you're going to grab this with both hands. And also I saw on Jeff Tate's Facebook today uh, he was saying that he's really impressed that Warbirds are coming over. He hopes they'll bring the armchair from the My Symphony video. Um, he wants to sit in that for a bit. Well, we've got a few. Th- this is the ongoing joke between, I don't think even you, you, you realise, but between you and Danny, Danny does the same thing. And we're disappointed that in the last film clip we did, the Collider clip, that we forgot to have a scene of me sitting somewhere. He goes, in every uh, in every film clip you, you're sitting in an armchair. And we forgot, we, and I'm actually cursing. That we didn't throw yeah. that in there, but um, that that was a nice chair, that one. Yeah. This symphony. Well, yeah, clearly the, the armchair you've uh, you've broken all the ties there. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you touched on Danny. Um, something that is also very very different is the lineup you're taking with you on this uh, on this tour. Yeah. Um, what can you tell me about that? Because you've got Danny and and Luch come in to um, to fill in in the in the lineup. How's it sounding? Yeah. How's that all going? Um, and uh, obviously, they were as excited as you are, I'm sure. Yeah, um, it sounds awesome. Um, we're, we're really good mates um, and played together in, in a band before years ago as well. So we, we've had that experience. So it's not like the first time playing together. It wasn't for a long time, but it was probably roughly for a better part of a year, nine, ten years ago. Um, but um, yeah, look, Danny's kind of been a, a you know a permanent feeling. For years now, you know, we've gone through a few bases over the years and if we've had a gig come up or something like that, he'd, he's happy to jump on and we've, you know, we've kind of talked about joining forces officially, but um, he's always had some, he's been busy as well, so the time has, I guess, never been right. <clears throat> However, rhythmically, um, we gel great together and he's also, you know, a, an outstanding singer as well. So between the two of us, our harmonies work really well together and it's killer. And um, and then Luch overheard, you know, me having a chat saying, you know, I think I need someone to fill in for this tour because we're working together at the guitar shop and the drum shop. And he was about to pop out of his skin, kind of saying, like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have a crack. And um, and it sounds awesome. Um, Luch is a real professional. He's a drum teacher. That's his that's his full time job. Drums are his are him. And um, yeah, man, um, we got in there and it uh, it kicked ass the moment we started playing. Um, and you know the boys went to a lot of effort in their own respects, and they're really treating it like their own band as well. Which is um, it doesn't it doesn't feel like anyone's filling in. Um, we're, we're a solid unit. We're top mates as well, and I think that that you, you can you can hear and see that that connection that we have on a personal level. Um, and yeah, it's good. It's like the stars have aligned in, th- in this situation. Fantastic. It sounds like the chemistry there is just yeah. uh, that that final piece of the jigsaw. Uh, and as yeah. you say, it just sounds like the stars have aligned for something that you've wanted to do for so long. Absolutely, yeah. Look, it's hard, man. You know, Lee's <clears throat> been in the band for a long time. We're best buddies as well. Um, and, you know, there's big things happening in his personal life, his careers and, um, you know, fam- family stuff. He's got a beautiful, I think, six-month-old boy now and, you know, he's, he's, he's got plenty on. Um, and, um, and life happens, I suppose, you know, so and that's kind of – where, where we're at, at at the minute, and um, you know, it was it's it was a shame, but also I we'll feel really lucky um, with kind of how things have fallen into place. Because otherwise, I'd be like, "Fuck, what am I doing now?" You know what I mean? But um, yeah, yeah. it's really good, um, and feels good. We've got one more gig left here on the fourteenth of October in the Leadbeater Hotel with with one, one of my dear friends, Delacoma. Uh, that'll be kind of a shared joint headlining show with with him, and. Um, and yeah, we can't wait to kind of have that last show, prep for that, and um, and then we're kind of <laughs> ready to go, man. Well, something that's really important um, to help you along with that is the possible campaign that you're running. Um, 
I had a little sneaky uh, donation today to try and buy Anthony Neckage's uh, yeah. big worn jocks, but they weren't on the list. Um, <laughs> you get both. You get a pair of new ones and gig worn ones as well. <laughs> exactly. Funny enough, the new ones are worth a lot more. Um, I <laughs> um, plenty to go uh, on there to go and get for not just for fans of the band or music fans, but people who really want to support our Australian artists having a crack of abroad, especially UK. Um, there's yeah. stubby holders, signed CDs, there's baseball caps, uh, vintage banners. I see the original yeah. banners up for grabs. Yeah, yeah. And we should, um, and look, that? Yeah, look, and the, and the thing is, like, that's stuff that I wanted to keep and put up, but same token, um, Australia's far away um, and it's, 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 a big, it's a big journey. Um, and you know, a, a lot of bands do that here, you know what I mean, to, to, just to help, um, help make it happen, you know. So, um, everyone that's donated, including yourself, man, you know, but we're, we're, we're dear friend, you know, we're, we're, since we met, you know, years ago now, but, um, yeah, it means a lot. It's really, really nice. Um, it, feel, it feels good, you know. Well, the campaign's only been running a week and you hit the thousand dollars today, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Thank you for thousand, your thousand dollar contribution, man. I really mean it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, my no, one dollar no, took it over the thousand. That was good. No, 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 no. no. Um, Look, it, it, it runs it, it, to October the twenty second. Plenty of time uh, for people to pledge and support Australian music. Um, and I will make sure that all the links are up with this interview as well. Thanks, man. Excellent. Uh, well, I'm so excited to uh, catch up with you after you get back. Um, I am trying everything I can to get on the plane with you just to carry your bags because I, I well, we've talked about it before, buddy. You know what I mean? Um, unfortunately, a dear friend of mine is no, unfortunately no longer with, with us, Rich. He was, that, that was his his thing, you know. So, um, so there's a spot free for you, mate. You know, um, you're from tempted. there, tempted. Hey, we're not getting any younger, we all need to help ourselves up those plane steps. <laughs> we're both, we're, I've actually got my. <laughs> knee, I pulled, I pulled my knee out last night, so I was sitting it's elevated, mate. It's fucking hell. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's not easy to get up those plane stairs. That's right. Well, obviously, uh, behind the scenes, there's plenty going to be happening. I'm sure there's um, new music. You, you, I know you constantly uh, come up with ideas and scribble them in your little pad of ideas. Um, have we got anything um, lined up for the future? Absolutely. Um, at this stage, you know, the, the primary focus right now is to re- release Order from Chaos. I'm super proud of, of the body of work there. I know you've had, you've had a copy of it for, for a while now and, and know it well. Um, and so it's exciting and I'm really focused on executing it and getting it out there now. But um, now through the COVID you know, stage, especially the first lockdowns that we had here, I wrote a better part of you know, an album and a half thereabouts of music or, you know, at least probably had finished tracks plus a whole bunch of ideas, um, which we will – I'll tackle prob- probably with, with the boys as well. And chatting with Danny now um, in regards to that banner that we had up the other night um, with the original Warbirds kind of font, um, there was an EP that was released, um, just hard copy. You know, I have a bunch left in the box I found that we were moving. Um, of five original tracks that I've never seen a lot of day. Um, so we might um, remix, remaster them and maybe write a couple of new tunes and have a, maybe another EP that we could we could drop, man. It's, it's Yeah, so th- there's plenty. There's, there's plenty of material. And I can't wait to kind of get back in the studio. However, I'm not really thinking about it much because we, we're finally doing this. So it's just it's shocking, man. You know, it's, it's really good. Well, two of the, the biggest things on the possible campaign – is the last two, which you can you can hire the band for the evening, or you can do yeah. an acoustic set. I'm going yeah. to beg people to get that quickly because by the time they get back from the UK, they class as an international touring act, and well, this that is, is a it. bargain. Yeah, a hundred percent, and and that's what happens in, in Australia. You know, um, I think when when bands make the effort and have the opportunity as well to go over, especially if they have a, a successful tour, then they're they're a different kind of. Respect level. I'm not sure if you can say that. I guess you know. Or, yeah, yeah. So certainly, see what happens, doors, man. Certainly, open doors. Yeah. I see Electric Mary are over there at the moment doing Europe. So, yeah, uh, awesome. Yeah, always, always checking. Brilliant. And they're killing Listen, it, man. It's fantastic to catch up. We can't wait to catch up to find out how the whole uh, 
the whole um, mission uh, and exciting journey happens and goes. And uh, I'm sure we'll try and catch up with you while you're over there, if possible. Absolutely. Um, that we'll have plenty of downtime, man. So um, that'll be on the cars. We'll be in touch. Unless you're in the driver's seat, obviously, then it will be very easy to uh, to have that chat. <laughs> No, but 100%, you know, whether it's, you know, at a diner somewhere or backstage, you know, we'll, we'll definitely be in, in touch and we'll we'll do one of these, man. It'll be awesome. Brilliant. And as always, thank you so much for your time. It's always great to catch up with you. Likewise, mate. Brilliant. Take care, Anth, and regards to the guys, and uh, enjoy your tour. And thank you to the Rock Pit for yourself and, and Mark and, and everyone that's involved. Um, Always been great to all the bands. You guys work very hard, um, and it's it means a lot to all of us, especially obviously our you know our, our kind of bond and, and being able to debrief and, and the support you give to all the bands is is awesome. Thank you so much. Very much, very much appreciate it, mate. Take care and stay safe. See ya.